This presentation entitled Optimal Design of Power Hubs for Offshore Petroleum Platforms Using a Systematic Framework is co-authored with Ciro Albuquerque, Julio Augusto da Silva, Ronaldo Freire, and Silvio de Oliveira Jr. This work aims to study different arrangements of more efficient and environmentally friendly concepts of modular power units, MPUs, installed on the Commission FPSO, when used as a centralized power plant for supplying electricity to four productive FPSO. However, weight, space and cost, intrinsic restrictions on floating offshore petroleum production platforms have ever hampered the allocation of more advanced technologies in lieu of the business as usual layout, generally based on simple cycle gas turbines. Furthermore, since there are too many choices of flexible, light, and affordable power generation systems, a computational framework is required to assist in the optimization problem of cost-efficient dispatch of the most suitable configurations. In fact, the dispatch optimization problem subject to severe area and weight restrictions and the lack of import and export of electricity from and to the grid has not been previously studied for offshore power hubs. This is a typical layout of a productive FPSO responsible for separating the petroleum into oil, gas, and water. Produced water is treated and discarded to the sea. A large amount of oil can be stored before a shuttle tanker transported to shore. About 150,000 barrels of oil can be produced, and up to 6 million standard cubic meters of gas per day can be either injected or further processed to be exported ashore via pylons. Some other characteristics, such as lightweight and loading, as well as the whole dimensions, are shown. This data is important to verify that newly installed power hub components effectively comply with the space, allowance, and weight budget. In a standalone FPSO, a large amount of heat is needed for separating the petroleum into its phases, whereas power is mainly consumed in compressors and pumping systems. Notably, the demands profile of each FPSO may sharply vary over time due to the change in petroleum flow and composition. Moreover, those utilities are normally satisfied by a set of four simple cycle gas turbines with waste heat recovery units. On the other hand, in this work, a power hub is proposed aiming to supply, in a fully flexible way, the electricity required by four identical productive FPSO. For the sake of illustration, we consider that three types of modular power units, MPU, are available. The first one is based on a simple cycle gas turbine system, represented as T, whereas the other two are built on combined cycles composed of one or three gas turbine systems linked to one steam bottoming cycle. The full law operation of the MPU is considered that steam temperature and pressure conditions guarantee that supplementary firing is not necessary. Those MPUs can be later combined in parallel with other of their kind in something that we call instance of a class hub in order to contribute to the overall power hub capacity. Since there are many ways in which those parallel MPUs may deliver the power demand, the search for the most appropriate utility plan layout and the corresponding load distribution would be a cumbersome task were it not for the systematic framework adopt. This systematic framework is conceived as an object-oriented routine written in Python, capable of fitting the simulation data obtained from Thermoflow GT Master into the surrogate models that characterize the performance of the topping and bottoming cycles. For instance, in the case of gas turbine systems and reciprocating engines, used in a standalone mode or as topping system of combined cycles, two operating parameters, namely the engine load and the environmental temperature, will suffice to correlate the efficiency as well as the mass flow rate and temperature of the exhaust gases. As for the bottoming cycles, the power throughput can be correlated by considering not only the actual inlet mass flow rate and temperature of the exhaust gases from the topping cycle, but also the actual condenser cooling water temperature, along with the values of all those variables at the design point. Other outputs such as the cube area, cost, and weight 
can also be determined for each component of the topping and bottoming cycles based on the Thermoflow's built-in libraries with specifications of commercially available equipment. The algorithm must also handle the optimization of the overall power half performance by executing the most suitable load distribution among its components. To this end, the profile of the annual power demand to the hub is calculated by adding up the demands of the individual FPSOs, so that peak and the lowermost power consumptions are identified. Next, the minimum number of MPUs required to be installed in parallel can be defined and their total occupied space, cost and weight can be figured out. It is worthy to remind that only one kind of MPU has been combined in parallel in the halves of this example. After verifying that all the power hub setups comply with the space and weight restrictions, an optimization problem of load distribution is solved to obtain the maximum attainable efficiency of each power hub configuration for a wide range of power output. This function is characteristic to each hub setup and it will be called the SATU plot. In these figures are shown the results of the first task of the algorithm, namely the fitting process of the performance of each topping and bottoming cycle when operating at full and partial load. These three-dimensional plots show the variation of the gas turbine efficiency, mass flow rate and temperature of the exhaust gases leaving the topping cycle as a function of the air inlet temperature and the gas turbine load. Meanwhile, the power output of the bottoming cycle is correlated against the gas temperature and mass flow as well as the temperature of the cooling water. In these plots, cooling water is set as 25 degrees Celsius at the design point. The design condition of the bottoming cycle aims to avoid costly supplementary firing. Thus, the maximum inlet temperature and pressure of the steam inject to the turbine had been selected as 40 bar and 400 degrees Celsius. Expectedly, the higher the hot gas inlet design temperature, the larger the power generation potential. However, at low to moderate hot gas temperatures, the power generation by the bottoming cycles is almost independent of the maximum design temperature of the heat recovery steam generator. We summarize the results of the minimum number of MPUs installed and the optimization of the partial load distribution for the three configuration of power hub studies. As it can be seen, each power hub could be composed of either 12 gas turbines, 9 combined cycles equipped with 1 gas turbine and 1 bottoming cycle, or 3 combined cycles, each one composed of 3 topping cycles feeding 1 bottoming cycle. The hub sat 2 profile correspond to the solution to the dispatch problem that determines the highest obtainable power generation efficiency for a wide range of electricity demands. This plot highlights the convenience of individually turning on or off and strategically generating the modular power units operating in parallel in order to attain the lowest fuel consumption. As a result, as more or less power turns out to be required, it will be more efficient enabling or disabling some engines operating in parallel than just maintaining all of them at an even and lower load for a prolonged time since it will represent an inefficient of the sign operating condition. It must be also known that since the power hub configurations have to satisfy both the peak and the lowermost electricity demands of the 4 FPSO, the operation of a standalone gas turbine system located either in the power hub or in the productive FPSO would be necessary. Otherwise, an extreme derating of the combined cycle would not be a mission complaint. It can be also seen that the main difference between the two sort of plots based on combined cycles, the red and the green plots, lies on the scale of the bottoming cycle installed. In fact, the MPU composed of one topping and one bottoming cycle can activate earlier its associated bottoming cycle at only half the way of the maximum gas turbine load. This represents an energy efficient operating condition, at least at the lower portion of the half electricity generation span, 
that is between 0 and 100 megawatts. This fact suggests that if a power hub were designed to operate at maximum 100 megawatts, the power hub configuration composed of MPUs with only one topping for each bottoming cycle would be more favorable, not only than its simpler gas turbine counterpart but also than the bulkier competitor, namely the power hub composed of three parallel topping cycles connect to one bottoming cycle. Finally, Based on the overall power demand required by four identical productive PSO, and the SATU plots previously shown, the yearly and the mean power have efficiency over the project lifespan can be calculated. As it can be seen, the superior efficiency of the power hub, composed of MPUs with three top pins and one bottom in cycle, is better evinced observing the entire productive lifespan. However, it is also observed that at lower power demands, that is, in the first and the 25th years, its efficiency already approximates to that of the power hub with nine gas turbine package linked to one bottom in cycle each. Other results are summarized in this slide. Strikingly, the power hub configurations composed of combined cycle show mean lifespan power generation efficiencies of about 10 percentage points higher than that of the hub, comprising only 12 parallel simple cycle gas turbines. However, it is also true that the power hubs equipped with combined cycles are expectedly buckler. Anyhow, none of the power hubs at tops studies fall short of space or are too heavy to be installed under the commission and adaptive PSO. It is also interesting noting that the initial investment cost of the power hub, based on 9 MPUs with one topping and one bottoming cycle, is much higher than that of the power hub based on 3 MPUs composed of 3 toppings linked to one bottoming cycle each. Actually, despite the fact that the later configuration is composed of 3 combined cycles in parallel, the economy of a scale of the more robust bottoming cycle use put this advanced cycle vis-a-vis -vis the simpler gas turbine-based power hub in terms of capital expenditure while keeping a much higher overall efficiency. Thus, although the power hub based on 12 simple cycle gas turbines still remains more attractive in terms of initial investment, weight and a cubic area, it must be borne in mind that depending on a scenario of carbon taxation, the financial drawbacks of those combined cycles may be eventually countervailed. Carbon taxation scenarios will be a part of a subsequent work to be presented soon in a dedicated oil and gas conference. Thus, we got some conclusions. A systematic framework based on an object-oriented routine in Python is proposed in order to evaluate, optimize, and rank the most appropriate configuration of centralized power generation systems that supply electricity to four identical productive PSO. Even if they are bulkier and costlier setups, the advanced power generation systems in offshore petroleum platforms may provide 25% higher overall efficiencies than existing simple cycle gas turbine configurations installed in a power hub, whereas the CO2 emission could down may achieve up to 22%. Also, despite the fact that the initial investment cost always remained to be the main drawback of the installation of more environmentally friendly setups, aggravated by the lack of a carbon taxation scenario, some advanced, some advanced power generation systems composed of larger bottoming cycles may offset this disadvantage. In fact, the economy of scale may bring about three interesting benefits. The fuel savings, that is, more natural gas export, reduce emissions in the hub, envisaging future carbon tax scenarios, and competitive initial investment costs vis-a-vis -vis the simpler gas turbine-based power hub. Finally, we would like to acknowledge our funding partners, Petrobras, CMPK, and Conciencias. Thanks for your attention.